Usher. What is his favorite meal that his mom cooks for him? Uh-huh. Her peas. Nobody gets a full meal out of peas. <laughs> Hi, I'm Chris. This is Crack Sizzlack. What up? This is another episode of 4 Minute and 20 Second Film Yes, sir. What do we watch? So if you watch My Sweet Satan, directed by Jim Van Beber. Yeah. Yeah. This is a classic. <laughs> so we're going to start out with this here timer for 4 minutes and 20 seconds. Do a film review. Bong. What was it about? Alright, so this movie, first off, it's, uh, it's a true story, which is cool. Um, it's a joint from like the early 90s. Uh, the beginning of the movie, it starts off with this, this guy, weird fucking haircut, like... Really fucking weird haircut. Like, got half of his head shaved, but then has a few braids coming out of the bald side. And anyways, he's in prison. Uh, his name's Ricky. And this dude fucking hangs himself, yo. Kills himself. Beginning of the movie. Um, basically, it goes from there. It goes to, like, a, a, a flashback or, or, like, a throwback to, to what got him in prison in the first place. So, it shows this dude... Um, Basically, this dude, the first scene they show of him is uh, him in a cemetery. You know, he has, like, this little altar with blood all over it. You know what I'm saying? And um, he's, like, worshiping Satan. You know what I mean? He's, like, you know, making some sort of sacrifice. I don't know if it's an animal or what it is. But uh, it's him and this boy. They show him, like, smoking bud and everything. Like, smoking weed and just being all high and listening to, like, metal music and shit. Um... There's a couple scenes they show with him and his boys chilling and, you know, basically him kind of, uh, the dude Ricky kind of being like the ring, like kind of like the leader of the crew, you know what I'm saying? And uh, they all kind of worship Satan. So they end up at this uh, this party. Um, Ricky's like the acid king, he calls himself. He's the connect for the acid. Everybody's getting the acid from him. Um, basically, they're at, the, they're at this fucking party. Um... And this dude Gary starts mouthing off. They start, they get in this little argument, Ricky and Gary and shit. Uh, Gary fucking waits till Ricky passes out and then goes through all his shit, takes some money out of his pocket, like $90 or some shit. Uh, and then he skates. Next scene is like all these motherfuckers at like a porn store, like a, a, a VHS tape store and shit. Basically, Ricky's giving everybody free acid. He's Mexican. like, yeah, free doses, yo, for all his boys and shit, Gary included. Fuck they end up going out into the woods, you know, um, and they're all chilling, and all of a sudden they're like, yo, this 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 fire isn't, you know, it's not enough to keep this fire going because the wood's wet. Gary, throw your shirt in there. And he starts getting bugged out, and they're like, nah, they rip the shirt off and make him put it in the fucking fire. And they're like, nah, that's not enough, yo. We need something else to put in the fire. So they're like, Yo, Gary, we're gonna cut your hair off, yo. Say, cut off part of this dude's mullet, throw it in the fire. And Gary starts bugging out, like, yo, I think you're gonna hurt me. Basically, dog, they fucking take a blade out, stab this dude up, and fuck him up, and kill him, yo. And uh, while they're killing him, they're saying, say you love Satan, say you love Satan, you know what I mean? And uh, basically, they kill this dude. Did he say it? He didn't say it. And, um, and then it shows him again, you know, back in the prison. Um, he had obviously got caught for it, and to him again, you know, wrapping it up, hanging himself. So what'd you like about it? I liked that it was short and sweet. It was a 20-minute joint. Um, I liked that it was a true story, because I didn't know about this case or anything about it. Um, so it was cool to kind of get the history with it um, at the same time. Um, I liked the fact that it was pretty gory, yo. Like, the scene uh, that they showed at the party, so the dude Gary got his nipple pierced and shit. They fucking, when they go out there to the fire, yo, when they take his shirt off, they take a fucking, uh, a knife and pull his fucking nipple ring out. And then when they're stabbing him up, yo, they like, the dude, Ricky, stabbing him mad times, like, say you love Satan, say you love Satan. And, uh, blood just, it's a fucking mess. And then he stabs him in the face, and then his boy comes over and just, like, stomps the shit out of this dude's fucking head. It's fuck, yo, it's unre, it doesn't even look like flesh when it's done. It just looks like a red... It's just a mess, yo. So that shit was pretty gross and, and cool looking, too. Yeah. What, what didn't you like about it? Wasn't a fan of the music. 
Uh, and I really didn't like the scene, even though it was what happened. I didn't like the hanging scene. Not a fan of that suicidal shit. Um, but out of a possible 3.5, this one right here, I'm um, giving a 2.6. Uh, if you got 20 minutes and you get a chance to see it, definitely, you know, pop that shit in. Yeah, that was my sweet Satan by Jim Van Bever. Uh, like he said, it's a true story based on Ricky Casso. There's a few other movies that are about the same thing. Uh, this one's probably the best and most like on point. Ricky Six is good too, but it's kind of cheesy. Uh, but yeah, if you got a chance to check this out, you should check it out. Jim Van Bever made good stuff back in the day. Probably still does. But anyway, we'll see you guys in a week. Peace. Bye.